Hi, it's Mr. Baumgarten back with the next installment of making a Java graphical user interface based application. At the end of the last video, I left you having created a GUI template screen that looked like this. Uh, in this video, we're going to code up our person class and then uh, move on from there. So inside person, there's a few different uh, fields that we're going to want. So if I make up some private string name, private string email, private string phone number, private uh, local date, date of birth. Let's actually use a date object, shall we? Date of birth. Uh, and now you notice that IntelliJ helpfully comes up with this little pop-up. Do I mean java.time.localDate? Well, yes, I do. Now, on the Mac, uh, it's showing me that I can click, or sorry, tap on the keyboard, uh, Alt-Enter. I think it's Shift-Enter on the PC. It might be Alt-Enter. Um, I'm sure you can work it out. Anyway, uh, having done that, it has automatically put in the relevant import statement for me, which is nice of IntelliJ. The other thing that we're going to get IntelliJ to help us out with uh, is if I right click on my uh, person, I can go down to generate and ask it to make my constructor. And I want my constructor, what fields do I want it to initialize? I want it to initialize all of these. So I'll click OK and look at that. It's made my constructor uh, that takes in a name, email, phone number and a local date, date of birth and initializes all of those. The other thing I can do is come back here and generate my getters and setters. I want getters and setters for all four of these. So I'm going to select all four, click OK. And there we go, getters and setters made for all four fields. Excellent. A couple other little bits and pieces that I want us to add for this. We're going to use some polymorphism on the constructor, or sorry, do some uh, overloading. By having two constructors, we're going to have one that lets us ha have a date of birth coming in from a string, and we're going to pass it, convert it from a string to a local date, because uh, that's a fairly useful use case. Think about it, when uh, when the user types in a date of birth on this form here, it's got, they're going to type it as a date, uh, as text, as a string, and so we're going to need to be able to pass that here. So in this, I'm going to say, let our date of birth local date. Um, actually, I'm going to come back to that in a second because we're also going, let's also come down here to set date of birth. Let's make up a second one of these that also works for a string. Public void set date of birth. Yeah, I'm supposed to spell it right. In this one, we'll take in a string. Um, date of birth uh, and let's see uh, so this can just do this dot date of birth is equal to local date dot pass uh, whatever's in that string so date of birth is the string that's come from the parameter and we use the date time formatter uh, class uh, of pattern oops, of pattern there you go you can see that it takes in a string as a pattern open up a set of brackets and I'm going to do dd slash capital M capital M slash y y y y all right and you can see my date time formatter all right by clicking on it it's come up with what it thinks I want which is correct so I'm going to Alt enter on that and it has imported it for me. Uh, and the reason why I decided to jump off and do that is because I can use that same function here in my constructor. Right, I can just do this dot set date of birth, pick the, right, pick the one that requires the string and send the string off to it. And that resolves that issue. So now I've got two constructors, I've got two set date of birth uh, setters. Uh, one other function that I'm going to want is get age. So 
public int get age. Uh, so I'm going to create a local date with today's date, local date dot now, and then find out what the time lapse between today's date and the date of birth is. So I'm going to use a period class, Alt Enter to add, and I want the one from Java dot time. Uh, so the time period is going to be equal to period dot between. All right, and we can see the pop up here that it wants a local date uh, for the start and a local date for the end. So the start was the date of birth and the end will be whatever today is. Uh, so, and then I just want to return an integer that tells me how old uh, this person is. So the period dot get years, there we go. It's the first thing that pops up. And is there anything else I want to add to this? I think that'll pretty well do it for now. I've got my import Java time local date period and format date time formatter. Uh, I think we are good to go. We so save this and next one uh, next video we will code up our screen class. All right. So this is Mr. Baumgarten signing off.